Assalamualaikum and welcome back to Liwa ETV. My name is Sadatina Aisha and I will be updating you on the latest news as we head into the evening. Let's start by scanning the headline. Welcome back to our audience. A group of students from International Islamic University Malaysia, IIUM Gombak, who are engaged in the course Sustainable Development, SHS 1201, have been conducting a survey about the issue of student food intake over the past week in UAE. Let's have Ms. Hanan and Ms. Afi on the line live from UAE. Assalamualaikum Mr. Hanan and Ms. Afi. Thank you for your time today. Hopeful for food. Is it your project name, right? My question is this. Where did you get the idea to do research and create project on the food consumed by students? Walaikum assalam. Um, in response to your question, a meal is crucial to a person's daily life, especially for a student whose bodies and brains are always occupied. And nowadays, most of the students having problem with their daily meals because of the budgetary constraint. For the main idea, we are focusing on SDG number one, which is zero hunger, as we want to get more information regarding the issue related to zero hunger. We have conducted a survey to get some responses from our community in IIUM and Alhamdulillah, we have got around 90 responses. Based on this survey, it stated that almost half of our respondents are facing problems with their daily meals and one of the reasons is because of financial crisis. In IIUM, there is a program called Student Kitchen Project or SKP that provide free food to all IIUM communities. And our group has taken the initiative to partner up with them by provide the social services, which is we have volunteered as their committees and we have also supply food packaging to them as a way to improve their project. Wow, this project had a long journey, right? Thank you for your response, Mr. Hanan. Now, I would like to ask Mr. Afiq, what is the goal of this project about? Our primary goal for this project is to accomplish five critical objectives, which include the following. In addition to ensuring students' well-being in terms of their daily meals. First, to assist the Students' Kitchen Project, SKP, by offering to participate as a committee member in the preparation and serving of the students' meals. So we understand the procedure of distributing food to others. Second, give students lunch boxes so they do not have to worry about the food safety. We are sometimes scared that we would spill the food and waste it. So we make sure that SKP has adequate food packaging to pack the food. Last but not least, we want half of the students on the survey who had difficulty purchasing daily meals to be able to obtain their daily meals through SKP and receive honest feedback as well as having weekly interview sessions with the students in order to improve based on their ideas. Thank you Mr. Hanan and Mr. Afiq for the explanation about Project Hopeful for Food. See you next time. Back with me, let's hear some response from the SKP initiative from Ms. Kaisara at the Masjid Sultan Haji Ahmad Shah in the Gomba. Okay, yeah, the objective of Student Kitchen Project is to help students that category as B40 and needy student, I mean the B40 family, students from B40 family and when that have that needs support. Uh, I mean 
even though they not from B40 family, but then if if they need uh, some help, uh, so they can take the food. Uh, okay, uh, as you know, uh, if we buy from outside, uh, right now the amount is like fifth ringgit above, right? So uh, I mean, uh, if we give this food. Uh, they can cut their cut their budget for 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 the food, and they have some additional money to do their assignment and other else. Uh, for student kitchen project, uh, our problem is uh, sometimes we don't have enough food for the student. Uh, means that. Uh, we bring the food as usual. I mean, amount like uh, 200 food. Uh, and, but then uh, the student is come more than uh, what we provide. Uh, uh, I cannot say that this project is popular among students. But then um, uh, every semester we get uh, question uh, like whether the student kitchen project is. Uh, available or not for this semester and then uh, our food just I said before uh, our food uh, always finish uh, so uh, I think not famous but have demand lah uh, have demand uh. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh this is Sarah Haslan from Kulia of Education so uh, I'm going to be answering few questions from sister well, I think this is a very initiative program indeed. I have contributed to this program especially because I think it's helping a lot of students who have uh, worked really hard for their day. And I think it's very pleasure that I'm giving them food. It, it brings me happiness. It's really important because students are facing difficulties by food for their lunch and most, most students skip them, right? So I think it's really important that a lot of people can uh, eat healthy. It helps me as a student, it motivates me not to miss my meals and helps me to develop myself as well. And well, I should thank my group first of all <laughs> for helping me, uh, you know, to bring me into this opportunity. And it really uh, motivated me. So I wanted to do something initiative towards the students. Yeah, yeah, it is very important, especially for students, because um, these students are working hard with our exams and studies. So it's very important for universities and education institutes to provide free food for students. My name is Akira from ICO. Um, in my opinion, it's actually a very great program, uh, of course, since it helps students. We no longer have to buy our own food. It helps us save money. You know how much it costs something great. Uh, very important because I think some of the students, because they don't have much money, they tend to eat meals. With this program, they can have their meals. SKP performed an excellent job with their program and the project has received a positive feedback from the student. However, every program or journey or something comes with its own set of challenges. On the line with us now, Mr. Akil live from IUM TV. Let's welcome the Mr. Akil. Assalamualaikum Mr. Akil. I appreciate you spending time with us today. You are a part of the hopeful for food team, right? Have you encountered any challenges when implanting the project with your SKP? Wa alaikum salam. Thank you Mrs. Aisha for having me too. Of course, our group has encountered the problem. Many challenges must be overcome in order for this project to be successful. First, we notice that SKP lacks of manpower. Majority of students will be preoccupied with their studies and assignments. It will become busier as the exams approach. As a result, the students who were assigned to assist with food distribution were unable to work each week consistently. Without enough volunteers or staff members, it can be difficult to distribute the food and manage the program effectively. This can cause delays and long lines, which can be frustrating for those in need of food. Secondly, due to non-profit projects, their funding has been limited. This project lacks of funds to purchase food packaging. Therefore, Without enough money to purchase the necessary packaging, the food distribution process will be affected. It is difficult to distribute food 
without proper packaging. Students will therefore bring their own food container, which can lead to food not being distributed equally to everyone. Students who bring a large container will receive more food than those who bring a smaller container. Then, there will be food shortages. Due to the food supply being limited from the start, this issue will reduce the number of students who receive the food. Based on the interview with Mrs. Aisha Humaira binti Zulkifli, which is the president of the SKP organization, we know the food is always finished and some students also sometimes not getting enough food because the food always finish early. So Mr. Akil, what is initiative that your group take to help the SKP organization to solve this problem that you see? So, our group take initiative to provide meal boxes for a few days to ensure the safety of the food and make sure they have enough food packaging to distribute the food. Thank you Mr. Akil for your time. It was a great to know the process your group encounter when you conduct the projects. See you next time. Now, before back to me, let us with Miss Kaisara on the set at Masjid Sultan Haji Ahmad Shah, who will be report the result of initiative that group hopeful for food take to encounter the problem. Uh, back with me, Kaisara Kisha. So, for today, I will uh, give some report about what we have done. So, um, from our survey, uh, the food shortage has become decreased because after we provide the, the container to the student. So from this we can say that when we provide the container to the student that there is a lot of food. So uh, the shortage of food is a reduce and there are many students that can get um, food of food. Thank you Ms. Kaisara for the report. That's all the news today in URE TV. Once more, this your anchor Ms. Saidatina Asha. Your news is our business. Signing off, see you in the next news.